Hey everyone, it's Noah and welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to be going over what inventory management tool I use for Walmart. Not only is this an inventory management tool, but it also manages returns, it manages orders, customer messages, and you can also create WFS shipments from it. The tool that I've been using in my business for the past four months is Crazy Vendor. So it doesn't only work with Walmart, it also works with Amazon, eBay, and other marketplaces if you sell on them. And you can quickly go ahead and connect them and you can cross list to all of these different marketplaces and have all of the data put into one simple system. So the cost for the software is $50 a month and then it scales up from there. With my discount code, you get 20% off for life on any of the plans. And I'm also working with the owner to go ahead and to add more perks or to increase the amount of orders and such that you get on each plan. Let's dive in and let me show you this demo account. So this is the main page here. You can go ahead and you can see all of your orders from today, yesterday, the week and the month. And you can also go ahead and you can choose your date range so you can customize it or choose it for the last 14 or seven days. And then you can also choose your sources and you can view your data specifically for Amazon or Walmart or any other marketplace like that. Additionally, if you scroll down, you can see your sales statistics. So you can roughly see how many units you're selling and how many orders you're getting per day. Next, you have your order stats. So all of your orders succeeded. Then you also have canceled ones. You can also go ahead and see messages and it's able to pull in messages from Amazon, eBay, and Walmart, and you can respond to them from within here. So it's really good if you're using virtual assistants or if you have a team. One of my favorite use cases for it and why I primarily started using it in my business was it helps you manage returns and cases opened with Walmart, especially with Walmart. You can use it also for any other marketplace like eBay or Amazon, but with Walmart, a lot of the times you're getting returns and you're not always getting notified when those returns happen, or sometimes Walmart will refund an item without actually notifying you or creating a return. So this system is pulling in all that information and it lets you know whenever a return or whenever something like that happens on your account. Underneath this, you can go ahead and see your subscription details. You can also see your feedback score. So this is really helpful when you're selling on eBay. So they are working on adding the feedback score for Walmart, but you're gonna be able to see all of your reviews. And next you have your inventory overview. So how many items are out of stock and how many items are missing any information. Again, most of this is for eBay, but they are working to add that information for Walmart and Amazon as well. Lastly, the two main things that you're gonna see on the dashboard are shipment alerts. So these are gonna be for orders or shipments that you have. And then you can see your top selling products and how many that you've sold. And you can again, change this for the date range on 30 days or whatever it is that you set it to. All of this data will reflect for that date range. So that's the dashboard. Let's go ahead and let's take a look at some of the other features. The next tab is going to be the communications tab. So underneath the communications tab, you can see all of your conversations with buyers on eBay, as well as there's a specific Amazon tab. And you can also see system messages from eBay as well as Walmart. And you can also respond to Walmart customer messages from within here. But more importantly, you can also go ahead and see your returns. And here is where you can set up notifications to be notified whenever you actually receive a return on any of the marketplaces. So in the returns settings, you can go ahead and you can manage your returns and you can see which ones are new. You can see which ones are in progress and which ones are closed. And it just gives you a streamlined way to effectively manage your returns. Next, you have order management. So under order management, you can see all of your orders across all of your sales channels. Within the orders tab, you can go ahead and manage all of the orders. You can go ahead and you can ship them from this page. You can also open up the order and you can quickly see all the information. You can also adjust something such as your cost. You can also write notes. You can set the shipping from within here too. And it just gives you a lot of control to just keep track of all of the orders in your business. And then you can go ahead and download reports for what has shipped, what hasn't shipped, what's been returned, as well as if you're working with virtual assistants, it's just a great way to put all the orders into one place. So next you have peoples. Under people, you can go ahead and you can manage different customers. So you can manage leads, customers, and it's just a CRM for your e-com business. Next, you have stock management. So within stock management, you can do a couple of things. So within the My Warehouse tab, you can go ahead and adjust quantities and adjust the title and the image and all that information for your listings on eBay. You can also create brand new listings for eBay and Walmart by clicking on this button. So if I click right there and then I choose which platform. So for Walmart, I can go ahead and I can list something that's already been listed. So if it's new, I just click new and then I can select the source, which would be Walmart. The region would be the United States. And then I would just go ahead and I would input the information to create a brand new listing from scratch for Walmart. Now for Amazon, you can't do that just yet, but you can also go ahead and search for any listing on the platform. 
and then list it from within here straight to your catalog. Additionally, from this page, you can also go ahead and create WFS shipments. So I click inbound and then I select my marketplace, which will be Walmart and then my source. And then I click submit. I can start the process for creating a WFS shipment. So once you select your item, you then just put in the quantity that you're going to be shipping in. So let's say I'm shipping in 24. You could input your cost. And then you can also do any add-on services. So if you're going to be having WFS bag your item, label it, tape or wrap, then it's going to add those charges. And then you can also go ahead and input your FedEx data. So you can put your package size, the weight, and then the declared value of your unit. And then you can go ahead and input the weight and all of the dimensions, put the quantity of how many boxes you're going to be getting. You can also go ahead and you can either choose mixed SKU or single SKU for Walmart. And then you can also add more boxes if you're shipping in with additional boxes and you can print the FedEx label as well as the Walmart label from within the system. The next tab you have is for creating a listing, which we already talked about. You can do under the stock management page, but here you can specifically do it here. Next, you have actions, history, accounting. So you have accounting reports, then you have billing, et cetera, et cetera. So it's a pretty simple design. However, I'm working pretty closely with the owner to create this system and just make it easier for Walmart and Amazon sellers. And you are completely able to go ahead and manage all of your shipments from within the system. They do have a free trial. So if you do want to try it, be sure to go ahead and to check out the link down below. As always, thanks for watching. Be sure to go ahead and check out my free Walmart course and community link down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.